Hey parents, I want to send you a couple of videos explaining some of the subtraction strategies we're using in my class this year. Uh, here's an example of a problem I sent home for homework tonight. 90 minus 64. Now, um, thing is getting vertical, it's pretty much universally accepted. Uh, you and I learned it when we were kids and uh, we're experts. It's, we're not experts in third grade, despite how things may appear. Um, what we get in third grade, as I've explained before, is some subtracting up. 9 minus 6 is 3, 4 minus 0 here is 4, which leads to a wrong answer. It just seems the easiest thing to do to a third grader is to subtract up. That's a temptation. Um, then there's a, uh, a laziness that kind of pervades 8-year-olds these days. You know, with re regrouping, we're going to need to get 8 here get 10 from that 90, leaving 8, and squeezing that 1 in there, it becomes a little scribbly there, and, and, and that can lead to some confusion too. So here at the start, we want to avoid, or I'm trying to uh, suggest avoiding getting vertical and, and practice some strategies that really establish an awareness that 64 versus 90, there's a 70 in between, an 80 between, and, uh, and so that's what these strategies are going to do. Uh, see the next few videos for, for some ideas.